Two suspects arrested Monday in connection with a murder at a North Little Rock skate park plead not guilty in court today. Isaiah Gillum was arrested by U.S. Marshals Jack Banks. The third was arrested by police. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ashley Katz. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Fawson. It's good to have you along. It is a story. It is a case we've been following for some time right now. Last week, police made their arrest in a connection to this case. Authorities now arresting this one. 17-year-old LaDedrick Harris, or at least they are looking for him. Care for his Kayla Reardon talked with the family of the victim who was killed that July morning. Joining us now live from the skate park. Caitlin, how are they coping? Well, Bob, first of all, you're actually right. They did uh, arrest LaDietrich Harris this morning, so he is also now in custody. As for the family, they're coping, but as you would expect, it's an incredibly sad situation. They say that their faith is what's helping them be able to get through it. He's just free-spirited, and young people do certain things. Paul Lutig says his stepson, 22-year-old Armand Van Tonder, liked to do anything outdoors, including skateboarding. On July 16th, Armand and a friend were at a North Little Rock skate park in the early morning hours when police say what appeared to be an aggravated robbery turned into a homicide. Two victims were shot. Van Tonder died at the scene. It's just sad that there are criminals out there that... that can do what they want and uh, take lives and, and they don't have any if they don't have respect for any life then they have don't have respect for themselves or anybody else police say about a week earlier there was an aggravated robbery at the park but other than that they've had no other reports of any violent crimes there this year and they don't believe it's an unsafe place it could be anywhere because you know a lot of incidents do do happen in the color of night. North Little Rock police arrested four suspects in connection with that homicide. As for Armand's family, they say they're glad those suspects are off the street. They can pay for what they've that they've done to us and, and to our family. The family says after the murder, they're already in the process of moving back to Bentonville where their sons were raised and their middle son was laid to rest. There's nothing for us here. We don't want to be here. We don't want to, we just don't want to be here. Now, as for a motive, police are continuing to investigate. They say that the suspects and the victims did not know one another. They also say that there's no indication that any drugs were involved, and they cannot confirm at all whether it was gang-related. Reporting from the North Little Rock Skate Park tonight, I'm Caitlin Reardon. Back to you.